Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. Go Fish BC on Shaw TV with your host, Brian Chan, from the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. Go Fish BC is brought to you in part by Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, River City Marine, and Surplus Herbie. Welcome to this week's episode of Go Fish BC on Shaw TV. I'm Brian Chan, your host for this series. We're situated right now on Armour Creek, which is the inlet creek to Hefley Lake, located just north of Kamloops. We're here today to show you the rainbow trout life cycle and to show you what's happening in this creek right now. Males and females will pair up. The females will dig what we call reds or nests within the gravel and they deposit their eggs in the gravel. The males come in and fertilize the eggs and then the female uses her tail again to cover those eggs. Those eggs are now gonna incubate for up to 60, 70 days. And when they hatch, the trout fry will work their way out of the gravel and then they'll feed in the creek for up to a couple months and then slowly migrate downstream into Hefley Lake. So we're gonna go out on Hefley Lake right now and join Steve Miracle. Steve and I are gonna hopefully catch a few trout and hopefully show you the difference between a maturing rainbow trout and an immature trout. Because if you catch a mature trout, whether it's a male or female, in the spring, you wanna let it go because that fish is gonna come up the creek and spawn. So let's get out on the water and see what we catch. We've caught a couple of maturing fish. So we got a good chance, we've got a male and a female here, so we got a good chance to show the viewers um, how, to, how to recognize uh, a fish that's gonna spawn this spring. And uh, because these are fish you wanna let go so they can go up the creek and spawn. These fish are taking on their secondary sex features. The one I got was a, was a big male. All right, so here's the male. So why don't you describe yeah, that one? Whoop. <laughs> so the males really darken up. We call them fire engines because they get that big red stripe on them, quite a dark color. Uh, you can see the hook in their in their mouth. We call it the kite. That's got a little button right there. A little button at the end of their mouth. Very very sharp teeth. Teeth. Be careful when you're uh, when you're handling them. Getting a hook out. I've cut my fingers open many times on these fish. They're very dark, dark in color. Um, red, red gill plates. Red slab. Red, red slash. Yeah. So they're dark. They're not silver like they normally are. Absolutely. He's he's ready to go. He's all dressed up and ready, ready to go. On. So that guy's going to go up the creek and spawn. Yep. And he's going to spawn with. With a female. With a female who's, or typically quite a bit more silvery. Yeah, the females are a little bit tougher to, to tell that they're the mature. Quite often you'll get very silver, very silver females, and you go, oh, that's a clean fish, and then you take it home. But you can vent. see, you can yeah. see the vent is the the distended or extended vent. Also, they are darker. They do tend to go a little yeah. bit gray, and they're very robust in the belly, and much softer. And these fish, as Brian says, they're going to go spawn. We'd rather let them go spawn. Their, yeah. their eating quality really isn't, isn't great anyway. You'd be disappointed if you do take a fish like that home. Well, thanks for coming on this episode this week of, of Go Fish BC on Shaw, Steve. And uh, we'll get you out on another episode and talk about some other management uh, situations and uh, projects that you're working on in the greater Kamloops area. You bet. Love to do it. Thanks, Brian. You bet. Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, Go Fish BC on Shaw TV with your host Brian Chan from the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. Go Fish BC is brought to you in part by Freshwater Fishery Society of BC, River City Marine, and Surplus Herbage.